Milo and Chip are lost at sea, so we're racing to see who can build them the best water houses to protect them from this army of sea monsters. Hey, this is terrible. When the sun goes down, those evil sea monsters are going to eat Milo and Chip. This is really bad, Pip. How about this? Let's build them some secure water houses to keep them safe. All right, Louie, that's a good idea. Let's build. All right, good idea, Pip. I'm going to start off my secure water house by adding a bunch of iron blocks, just like this. After all, I want a very, very cool bridge so that nothing will be able to jump out of the water and eat me. Oh, your bridge is looking lame, Louie. Why are you building out of iron? Well, Pip, did you know? In real life, they build bridges out of iron all the time. And they are really strong. Oh, so you're building a real bridge? Yeah, of course I am, Pip. I just need to show you how I'll build it. Watch this, buddy, okay? I'm going to get a wand of symmetry and place it right here. This means if I place a block on this side, it also places it on this side. So I can go ahead and make really cool-looking bridges just like this. Are you ready? Why are you hacking? With this wand of cinnamon. Oh, Pip, first of all, it's not called the wand of cinnamon. And for two, it's not hacking. I'm allowed to do this, and you are too. Fine, Louise, and I'll use that magic wand as well. Go ahead, buddy. I want to see what you can build with it. But while you're doing that, I'm building a really awesome looking bridge. What do you guys think? Comment down below if you would use this bridge. I'm making it out of smooth quartz stairs and smooth quartz slabs like this. And look at that. That, guys, I can go ahead and build this same thing on the other side and make this bridge look really epic. I'll just start from this side over here, build up three blocks, put a staircase on the top and build it up just like this. Then I'll get some more red concrete, build it across like that, three blocks, get two blocks of smooth quartz slabs, and boom! We now have a really cool looking bridge, but I want to make sure that I never fall off, so I'm going to make this thing look like a hot Hovercraft, and that is what my house is going to be on top of. So I'm going to put all of these light blue blocks like this to look like a really cool engine on the bottom. Then I'll add light blue stained glass going all the way around. So it kind of looks like it's glowing. There we go. I think that looks really cool from the outside. It looks just like a hovercraft. But I'm going to add some glowing tiles to it to make it look even better. And I'm also going to use some of these futuristic wavy looking blocks. Watch this, guys. I'll get some smooth quartz slabs and place them here. And then on certain parts of this block right here, I'll put these futuristic wavy looking blocks. These look awesome. And then next to them, I'll place down some glowstone like that. And now this is looking like a hovercraft. I just need to place some blocks on the inside so I can put my house on top. So the blocks I'm going to use, guys, are andesite. I'll use polished andesite and a bit of stone so that I can add some texture to this floor just like this okay and if you guys want to build something similar feel free to follow along with this video after all this house i'm going to build is going to be really cool and i'm pretty sure everyone would want to live in something like this so here we go I'm getting very close to finishing up on this platform and let's just finish it like this and done now we have this huge platform floating off of the water so none of those evil sea creatures will be allowed to get in. But now what I need to do is start working on the actual house. So what do I want to do? Hmm, what blocks should I build out of? Wait, I have a good idea. I'm going to get some red concrete. I'm also going to get some white concrete too, because I'm going to make this house as modern as possible. I'll also get some black concrete as well. I'll be using some of these ultra cool modern black bricks. Look at this, guys. These blocks look really amazing. And inside of my modern water house, it's going to look even better. But we have to start on the outside first. So I'm going to build it up now. What I want is a nice big window on the front. So I'll get some of these white concrete blocks and place them next to these black bricks. Now I'll build my house as far as I want it to go to the side. I think that should be good. Or maybe one block less. I don't want to be living in a mansion, but something nice and secure that I can defend. That's looking pretty good. And now on the inside of that hole, I can place some red glass like this. And this will be my big window for my living room that I'll be able to look outside of. 
let me go ahead and just add some more of this white concrete to make it look even more modern. And I'm going to build up these walls really, really big so I have a huge living room to be inside of. So I'm going to build a block like this. And I think that looks pretty good. I can add windows on both of these sides. This will be the living room. Now I can go ahead and add some smooth quartz slabs on the top here. And this will be the second floor. But I'll work on that once I'm finished with the first one. <laughs> Boom. There we go. All I have to do now is just place some white concrete going around the top and the bottom. And this will make it look really modern. As you can see, the white concrete really adds a modern looking touch. But now I want a front door that I'll be able to walk through. So I'll make it three blocks high like this. And I'll add some more white concrete surrounding it. Just like that. What I'm going to do now is put some more of these black bricks just down like this. And there we go. We have a nice hole that a door can fit in. And I have a really good idea on what doors I can use. Look at this, guys. I can use these really epic looking tall wooden doors just like this. Now that is looking super modern and cool. My ocean house is going to look so much better than Pips. I just know it. I'm just going to connect this area up right here. And I think this main entrance can be something like a balcony once it's done. I'm going to fill up some of these blocks with red in the corners. And let's go ahead and fill up this gap right here on the roof with some more smooth quartz. This will be my balcony area. And I'm going to connect it up to my second floor by getting rid of some of these blocks and putting some stairs between them. I'll use these really awesome looking spruce stairs. Let's put them right here. And now, guys, we have a staircase coming down from my second floor onto a balcony. But around the outside of the balcony, I think I'll put down some of these red glass panes. After all, I want a lot more detail on this build. And I want a nice area that I can also shoot the sharks and evil sea creatures from. Because we need to keep Milo and Chip safe. And I'm pretty sure that sun will set any second, Pip. So we have to build quickly. Yeah, me too. I just need to add a bit more detail to my modern house walls just like this. Let's go ahead and connect it all up. And I should have some walls on the inside right here. I think this modern house is coming along very well. It's looking very spacious. That means there's a lot of room to build inside. But now I want a lookout room where I'll be able to see from. So I'm going to add some more white concrete going up like this. And then I'll add some stained glass panes going all the way up to make a massive window on the top floor. It's very hard to place down red stained glass, especially because it's so small. I had to place really slowly, but now I can start working on putting all this white concrete down. There we go. The second floor is now very, very tall. And from the outside, this is looking super cool. I would definitely want a vacation in this house. I also love the red that I've added. After all, it looks just like me. And guys, if you think this red looks awesome on this build, then make sure to like the video and comment down below hashtag red if you see this. But there we go. I finished up that glass right there. And now it's time to add some walls to the outside of the build. So let's finish off this top floor by connecting it all up. I'll just get all of this white concrete and connect it in a box shape like this. And then I can start on the walls. And on the top floor, I'm going to make them out of these black bricks again. Just like this. And I'm going to add a nice big doorway arch like this on the front. This is where you'll be able to walk down and onto the balcony. But now what I need to do is just fill up this gap right here with black bricks. And then on the other side of this wall, I need to fill it up with glass panes again. So I'll do that right now. This might take a while though, guys. So there we go. We now have an awesome looking modern house. I'm going to to go ahead and add the roof on the second floor. Now, I need to add some defenses around the outside because after all, what is the point of having a really cool looking house if it's not 
defended. I need to make sure those sharks and evil sea monsters don't get inside. So what I'm going to do is add some defenses now. What I'm going to go ahead and do is add some magma down below because I know that it pulls things down into the water. Look, guys, if I place down a magma block right down here in the water and go all the way up to the surface, watch what happens. It makes a bunch of bubbles, and if I stand right above it, it drags me down into the water. Look! Whoa! So I'm going to use that idea to be able to stop all of those sea creatures. So what I'm going to do is use a command like this. And I'll replace all this gravel with magma blocks. Now, guys, if I go ahead and go to the top over here, you'll see there's a load of magma underneath. And if you fall into the water, you're as good as dead. You get sucked all the way down into this magma and you burn. That is going to be really good if any sea monsters get too close to my base, they'll fall all the way down to the bottom and get burned by the magma. But now what I need is some awesome laser traps, because after all, I need to be secure against these evil creatures. I'll place some red concrete going on every single corner of this base. Just like this. And what I'm going to do, guys, is connect all of these red blocks up with a bunch of deadly lasers, because I'm pretty sure that no sea monsters know what a laser is. Is, they will definitely run straight into it and die. But we have to find out if that will happen first. So let's go ahead and set up this laser trap. All I need to do is grab some regular lasers like this, and then I'll get some distance upgrades. This will make the laser go further. Then I'll get some damage upgrades, which increase the damage of the lasers. And then finally, I'll get a color upgrade and a mode upgrade, so I can turn these lasers to power mode, which makes them extremely strong. Boom! I'll place one laser right here, and then I'll make another one of them a different color so that I can have really cool rainbow lasers. I'll have a yellow one, then let's have a green one, and then next, let's have a blue one. Now all I need to do is copy all of these lasers and put them on every single pillar around the outside. Just like this. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go to this side, and let's do it here too. Now all all I have to do, guys, is activate these lasers, and you'll see how this trap works. So to activate it, I'll use something called a redstone link. It's basically like Wi-Fi in Minecraft. You just have to put some redstone links on the back of some blocks, and then you have to activate them by putting blocks inside. Then finally, you just have to turn them all into receiving mode with your fist, which basically means they're looking for a signal from the outside. Let's put some more redstone links on the back. Back, fill them up with these blocks, and then finally, let's switch them all on. So now, guys, if I put a redstone link down on the floor and then turn it on with a lever, it should activate my lasers. Whoa! They are surrounding my base really awesomely, and I guarantee you guys, none of those evil mobs will get inside because I have the power of rainbow lasers. Oh, he's always talking about his base being way better than mine, but uh, not for long. How about we change that? Let's go ahead and put some dispensers on my base. Point it straight at Louie's base. Oh, you guys already know what I'm about to do. Let's fill these up with fire chargers, both of these dispensers, and then we're going to have redstone coming out of these dispensers, leading to this lever. And now, when I flick this lever, Louie's base is going up in flames! This is an awesome trap, and there's no way Louie's going to have a trap better than this! Alright, guys, so I have my lasers, but I want to make sure that none of those evil mobs will be able to get nearby the outside side of my base. So what I'm going to do is, is make some crazy dispenser traps. What I'm going to need is some TNT, some dispensers, and some redstone. And basically what this trap is going to do is shoot out a bunch of TNT at those evil mobs. I just need to 
place some dispensers going around this base with TNT inside. And you guys will see exactly what it does. I'm going to once again use these redstone links to make it a lot easier to build. I'll put a redstone repeater inside of them and place them going all the way across the walls. I'll put some on the front there, and I think that'll be enough. But now to see if my TNT trap is working, I need some sort of balcony to be able to see. So I'm going to make a small balcony coming off the front of my already existing one, and I'm going to make an area where I can look off and see what's happening to the sea creatures underneath. I'll make a little bridge that goes over my lasers, and then I'll make a little area I can see off of the top. Now I'll add the redstone link and a lever. Now if I press it, it should shoot some TNT out, and boom, look, it worked. Awesome. Guys, this is one of the strongest traps in Minecraft. Nothing can survive TNT. But now that I've got a few traps on the outside, I'm nice and secure. It's time to go ahead and add some more details to my house, though. Just like this, I'm going to put some white concrete coming off the front and the back like this. And I'm going to build a little roof coming off of my balcony, just so that I don't get wet if it starts to rain. So let's build it like this and connect it up with white concrete. Awesome. Next, what I'm going to do is get some spruce stairs and slabs. And I'm going to place them coming off of the side like this to make it look almost like a roof. And this is going to be a really cool roof that comes off of the side and goes off the side of the base so that I have a nice roof on my balcony. So let's add it coming up like this and then stopping right here at the top. Awesome. And then on the inside of the roof, I can fill it in with these bricks. So on the outside, it looks really cool. Now I just need to fill up this roof and make it look really, really cool. So I'm going to use some blocks like this and build it up the same on the other side, just like that. Then I'll fill it in with these black bricks again. And awesome, guys. This is coming along really well. I'll just place in some blocks in the middle so that my roof is completed, especially on the outside. Maybe these evil ocean creatures will see my base and not even try to get inside because they think it looks so amazing. But next, what I'm going to do is add a few little pillars going around the outside to make it look like this build is separated from the bottom and the top floor. This will make it look a little bit cooler and also more modern. I'll do some more blocks on this side and there we go. This is starting to look really cool. All right, guys, but now because this is an ocean house, I want to add some really cool effects to it. I want to add a nice big wave on the top so that you know that it's a house in the ocean. Look at this. What I'm going to do is grab some cyan concrete, some light blue concrete, and some just regular dark blue concrete. Now all I need is some white. And let's get started. Watch this, guys. I'm going to place some blue concrete just like this. So I'll place down some blue concrete just like this, going all the way across. I'm going to put a huge wave image on top. So what I'm going to do is get some cyan concrete and let's keep placing some blue. I'll place little bits of white in there too. And this will be for a shape of the waves. Just like this. Let's keep building it up layer by layer. What is Louis even doing over there? He has rainbow lasers and is he building the earth on top of his house? Oh, that is horrible. Guys, I just finished up my best trap ever. If I flick this lever, look, all of these dispensers shoot TNT, which will blow up these sea monsters and allow me to beat Louie once and for all. Oh, but something is definitely wrong, guys. What is Louie building up there? I thought he was building a base, but oh, Chip is his best friend, and that's definitely not Chip, and he wouldn't build Milo's base. That doesn't look like Milo's base. Um, maybe Louie's just wasting time. That's probably all it is. Guys, maybe Louie's just trying to flex on me, but this doesn't look like a flex at all. What is that? Oh, but if we're building stuff on top of our houses, then fine. I'll build something on top of mine, and I think I'll do my handsome face right here on top of my house. 
All right, guys, look at this. If you look from a distance, it looks just like a wave. So this is the most awesome looking ocean house ever. You know what? Just to make it look more cartoony, I'm going to go around the outside of it with some black concrete to make it look like a cartoon. Pip is going to be so jealous when he sees this. I'm pretty sure Pip loves pixel art on top of bases. That's why he's doing something over there right now. What is that? Oh, I guess it doesn't matter right now, guys. I'm building this wave, and there we go. I just made it really cartoony. I'm going to get rid of some of these blocks, though, just so that it looks like a really awesome wave. I think that's pretty cool. But anyways, what are you building, Pippin? Whoa! Is that your face? Yeah, Louis. Since you were building something ugly on top of your base, I thought I should build something beautiful on top of mine. Whoa, well, that is pretty cool, Pip, but you have a little bit more space on top of your head. Your forehead is way bigger than that. Yeah, I do have a lot of bald spots. Yep, and also, you have this little thing coming off the top of your head, just like this. You have a really awesome little hair coming off the top. Here. Oh, yeah, that's just my haircut that I got at the Duck Barber. The Duck Barber? Are you sure that was the right place to go, Pip? Your haircut really looks a bit great. Yeah, it was either the Duck Barber or the Butcher. I, I don't know which one. Uh, don't go to the Butcher's, Pip. They do a lot more than cut your hair, but buddy. Anyways, Louie, my drawing looks way better than yours. What is that supposed to be? Oh, how don't you know, Pip? It's a wave. Oh, that's not a hand waving. No, it's a wave, the kind of one that you surf on. Oh, like a surfer dude? Oh, yeah, Pip, like a surfer dude. Louie, this whole time, you've been wasting time by building a random wave on top of your house, but nothing on the inside. Oh, wait, you're right. I don't have anything in here. I need to start building. Yeah, Louie. Building. Oh, I'm going right now. All right, guys. I'm going to have to make the inside of this base look super cool. After all, Milo and Chip are counting on me to keep them safe. So I'm going to make this look really awesome on the inside. So they want to live here. What I'm first going to do is make a nice hallway that they can walk through and put their shoes down and all of their stuff. But first, before I do that, I need to change the color of this floor. It looks really cold. So I'm going to get some of these spruce planks and place them on the ground. As you can see, they look like a nice color to put as the floor. And they're also built like wooden planks. But I don't know if I like those. I think I want to use these ones. These ones look a lot more modern and cool. And I'm pretty sure Pip is going to be very jealous of how my house is looking. There we go. I've made the floor for this area. But it's now time to put the floor for this big room in the back. I need to hurry up though. That sun is going down fast. And those evil sea creatures will be here any second. Here we go. And done. We have now completed the floor of this place. It's now time to separate this hallway room and the main living room. So I'm going to grab a trap door like this and place it right in the middle here. So if you want to get to the living room, you just have to open up this trap door and close it. But oh, I don't know. I kind of want something really cool in here. Like maybe a shelf that you can keep all of your items so I'll do something like that. I'm going to put some of these quartz slabs down. And I'm also going to grab some quartz stairs. I'll place them down on these sides here. So they kind of look like a small table. Then I'm going to get these modern white doors. And place them going up just like this. Up the sides of the walls. This will make it look like some kind of cabinets. And I can put spruce trap doors on the front. In order to make it curve around. So you can technically climb onto the inside. But now let's get some of these smooth quartz slabs and place them down like this. So it kind of comes out of the roof and down into the room. Now we have a huge place to store all of our items. And what better to store all of our items in than some really cool shulker boxes. I'll get some shulker boxes for me. I'll get one for Pip. I'll get one for Milo. And I'll get one for Chip. Awesome. Now whenever we want to, we can reach inside of our shulker boxes and grab whatever we 
wants. I'm going to put down some signs so we know exactly whose shulker box everything is. So on this yellow one, I will put Pip. On the blue one, I'll put Milo. On the red one, I'm going to put Louie. And on the orange one, I'm going to put Chip. Amazing, guys. Now we can tell whose shulker box is whose. But next, what I need is a nice welcome mat so that I can wipe my feet when I come inside. So I'll put down a nice white carpet in front of the door. So as you can see, you can walk inside and you can wipe your feet. And then you can keep walking in. Now what I think I'm going to do is just put down a little table right here and I'll be able to put a few things on it just in case I want to store some items before walking into the house. So I'll get some item frames and I'll put them going along this little table here. So now it looks like a little cabinet and I can put some quartz stairs on top and give it a little roof on it. This room is getting very cramped now though. So let's keep moving on. I'll go ahead and put some items in here. First of all, I'll put some seeds because I know Pip loves them. Then over here, I'll put my favorite thing in the world. A little creeper plushie. It looks so cute. And then finally for Milo and Chip, I'll put a cookie because I know they both love cookies. There we go. Awesome. But there we go, guys. I think this room is getting very cramped now. So let's keep moving on. I'll go into my main room over here. And whoa, I can see Pip's base from over here. Oh, Louie. I'm looking at your base and it looks trash. Mine is amazing. Hey, what do you mean my base looks trash? I think it looks really good from over here. I'm currently working on the inside. Um, Louie, you're taking forever to finish up the inside. I've already finished. Don't you want to see? Wait, what? You know what? I will. Let's see what you've built in here. Come on down and look. I've got the living room. Wait, is that it, Pip? You've only built a living room. Yeah, Louie. Isn't that all you need in a house? I mean, you kind of do, but you also need a kitchen and bedrooms. And Pip, I've not even built a living room inside of my house. Oh, well, through a bedroom, I can just sleep on the floor. See, look, this is my bed right here. Ew, you have a basement in your house and it's made out of dirt. You know what? I'm going to go build my living room at my house. All right, Louie, but try not to get jealous and copy mine. Oh, don't you worry. I won't. Just to make sure you're not copying me, I'm coming with you. All right, fine. Come on, Pip. Get inside of my house. And we are going to go ahead and make a nice big living room in here. All right, Louie. First thing we're going to need in here is some storage. Wait. No, 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 no. Don't put barrels everywhere. We have a way better way of storing things. Just watch this, buddy. If I put some of these black bricks coming down and then put some trap doors on top like this, we can make some really cool looking shelves. Just like that. What do you think? Um, Louie, these shelves are great and all, but why are your shelves opening? Oh, Pip, they're made of trap doors because they take up really, really small amounts of space. So we can put any items we want on top of them. Any items? Yep, anything. All right, Louie, and I know exactly what I'm putting on here. <laughs> All right, show me, buddy. I'll put down some item frames so you can place some things onto here. And wait, what? Pip, you just put a big piece of poop, some pee, and seeds on my shelf. Yes, Louie, all of my favorite things in your base. Oh, listen, Pip, we can't have the poop or the pee, but we can have the seeds. All right, Louie, I guess we can meet in the middle and say seeds are good. Yep, <laughs> seeds are very good, buddy. But there we go. We've got a few items on our shelves, but now we have to work on something else in this living room, and I have a good idea what. On the other side, I'm going to do another one of these little cool-looking shelves just like this. <laughs> Wait, Louie, we already made a shelf. Why do you want to build another one? Oh, well, let me show you. I'm going to get some bookshelves, and this will be the reading corner. These shelves hold up books. Oh, my gosh, not a reading corner, Louie. Reading is boring. No, it's not. And I can get a seat just like this so I can sit down while reading. I'd rather sit down while playing video games. Well, you know 
what? Let's see what the viewers think. Guys, if you think books are cool, then like the video. And if you like video games, subscribe. All right, but anyways, Pip, look. We have these bookshelves and this really big shelf here. But what else goes in a living room? Well, you completely forgot a TV, Louis. Wait, you're right. Look, I'll grab a TV just like this and a nice modern white TV rack. Now we can put them like this and turn the TV on. And oh, Pip, yeah. what is this? I can't wait to watch the TV. Pip, that is the oldest TV I've ever seen. I could barely even reach the controls. They're so small. Yeah, it's so old. I don't even think it works anymore. Well, then get rid of it, Pip. Look, we have a big flat screen TV. And I'm also <laughs> going to go ahead and give us a nice sofa so we can watch TV here. Oh, my gosh. I've always wanted to watch TV on a sofa. Yeah, me too. It's been a long time since I've sat on a sofa. Can you believe it, guys? Oh, yeah, Louie. But can your TV survive bow and arrows? <laughs> uh, yes, it can, Pip. Look, it has an invisible force field that stops the screen from getting oh shot. Gosh, how did it do that? Well, it's futuristic technology, Pip. I cannot tell you. You're always hiding things from me. No, I'm not. I'm not hiding anything from you, Pip. But look, I just added a cool backing to the sofa. So now you can see a little bit of red poking out. And it looks really cool. Oh, I love it. But the last thing we should add in the living room is a bathtub. A bathtub? No, 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 Pip. Get rid of that. We cannot be having a bathtub in the living room. We need a bathroom for that. Wouldn't you love to take a bath while watching TV? Well, that would be pretty cool, but we can just add a TV in the bathroom. What else could we put in the living room here? I mean, we could put our beds right here. Wait a second. You gave me a good idea with the carpets. Look, I'll get some red and I'll get some yellow carpets. And look at this, buddy. We can add a really cool looking carpet design going all the way through the living room. Awesome! Oh, yeah, but why is there no yellow carpet? Oh, don't you worry, buddy. I have you covered. I'll put down some yellow carpets like this in a checkerboard pattern. Now this is looking awesome. I love the red and yellow. It kind of reminds me of McDonald's. Yep, and if you guys love this cool red and yellow pattern, then make sure to comment down below. But now we've completed this living room, Pip, and it's time to work on a room all the way up here on the second floor of my build. How many floors do you have? Well, I only have two, Pip. I have this one really big room. I have one room downstairs and a nice entry room, too. I have all this space around the back of my base, too. What do you think you're going to put back here? I don't know, but in this big room, I definitely know what I'm putting. I'm going to put a huge kitchen. I love kitchens, Louie. Can I help you build it? Oh, of course you can. Let's go ahead and get started. So let's put down some quartz slabs just like this to work as a nice looking table. Just like that. I'll do the same thing on the other side too. Yeah, Louie, but when are we going to put the ovens down? I'm really hungry. Don't worry, Pip. We'll put them down in just a second. We just need to add some cool details to this kitchen, like some shelves going along the top of the tables. This way, we have a lot more storage in this kitchen for food. Just like that. I think this is looking awesome. Let's just connect it up to an archway. And there we go. We have a cool looking kitchen with some cool looking slab shelves. Oh, yeah, Louie. But we really need a fryer to cook fries. How about I put a fryer down right in the middle of the living room and put some hot water in it. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. That's not hot water, Pip. That's lava. Isn't that how they cook french fries. Uh, no, Pip. That is not how they cook french fries. Let me show you. If you get a cauldron in Minecraft and you also get some water, you can put the water inside of the cauldrons, which means it looks like oil inside of a fryer. Oh, yeah, Louie. Let me just throw some potatoes in there. And let's see what comes out. Let's just let it cook for a second and wait. Look, coming out of the top of the water, you can see something. And let me grab it. And wait, Pip, we got french fries. It worked. 
Yep, let's just go ahead and put some french fries on the front of these fryers so we know what comes out of them. Why would we put french guys on front of our oven? No, french fries, Pip, like the food. But, Louie, we still don't have any ovens. Oh, don't worry, Pip. We can get some ovens in right now. We can go ahead and go into Minecraft's creative inventory and get some of these really cool furnaces. And we can put them going up the walls next to the fryers here. So we can cook a ton of food. Did you know in real life, furnaces are used to make pizzas? Pizzas? Oh, I love pizza. Can we make a pizza? You know what? I guess we can. Look, let's go ahead and get some pizzas out like this. And we can put them around our kitchen. So now we know that we are a pizza cooking kitchen. Oh, this is really cool, Louie. I can't wait to make so much food. Wait a second. What are we supposed to do with this table? Not sure, Pip. It seems like we've put all of the ovens on this side, but maybe we should use this table for preparing the food with things like cutting boards. Oh, I think you should do the cutting, Louie. I don't want to cut off any of my feathers. Yeah, but I really don't want to cut any onions. Can you do that? Because onions make you cry. Oh, they don't make me cry, Louie. I'll just bite them off instead. Uh, okay, buddy. But <laughs> let's keep building. So what I'm going to do is grab some of these chopping boards. And this will allow us to cut all of the vegetables that we want in our food. And we could go ahead and put some item frames behind them with the food that we will be cutting off. I think to make some nice, healthy food... We should cut up some cabbage, some corn, and let's see, what else do we have? Maybe something very, very nice to eat. Like some cheese! Let's put some cabbage here, cheese here, and corn here! And Pip, what are you doing? You put poop on the chopping board! Oh, yeah, Louie, don't you want to make poop french fries? No, Pip, y you know what? I'm throwing this poop away into the deep fryer. Deep fried poop does sound tasty. No, it does not! And ew! Look, it just made the water brown. I mean, yeah, Louie. What else did you expect it to do? Um, Pip, I expected it to just burn in there, and then I'd never have to see it again. But I guess the world doesn't work <laughs> that no, way. Louie. The more poop, the better. Ew. Well, Louie, you've got all of this disgusting food right here. But where do you expect to store it? Oh, well, you make a good point there, Pip. I guess we could probably put, like, a chest down somewhere. All right, Louie. What the hell? But we put a chest right here in the back. In the back? I mean, I guess that looks pretty cool. We could pile these chests all the way up to the roof. Awesome! Let's go ahead and put some of these quartz slabs like this, too, to make it look like they're being held up on the wall. Oh, yeah, we can store so much food. We could feed a whole army with how much food we have. Yeah, we definitely could. I'm going to connect these up to the roof and done and dusted. This looks like a really cool area of the kitchen. Oh, yeah. So, is our kitchen complete? Hmm, I don't know. It feels like there's one thing missing. Like, maybe some barrels up here. It seems like there's nothing on top of these shelves. So, I'm going to put some barrels down on here. So, now we can store all of our food on this shelf up here, too. Just in case we have no space left in these chests. Oh, yeah. And on the empty spot, I'm going to put some cake. You know what? That is a very weird idea, but I kind of like it, Pip. So let's leave it like that. And also, what I'm going to do to finish off this kitchen is add a nice big carpet going all the way down the middle. Awesome! All right, Louie, this is really cool, but... Well, Pip, we have this living room and kitchen, but we need a bathroom. After all, I don't want Milo pooping all over this base just like you would. Why can't we just use the bathroom in the ocean? Uh, I mean, we could, but it will be dangerous in there soon. We cannot be getting too close to the water. Yeah, so let's go ahead and build this awesome bathroom. You know what, though? It seems we don't have much space in the build, so maybe on the outside, we should build a porta potty. Oh, yeah. A portable bathroom. Yep, 
So let's put a bunch of this blue down and build it up. We want this to look like a modern porta potty. Let's build it all the way up like this and make sure it's nice and tall. Because at the end of the day, we don't want Milo and Chip bumping their heads in here. Oh, yeah. Very weird to bump your head in a porta potty. After all, what if someone pooped on the ceiling? I know, right? But here we go. Let's put a nice big door on the front. I'm going to get a tall door just like this. And it will be one of those doors that don't have a window. So nobody can peek through. All right, Louie, but what should we add next? Oh, I really think we should add a window right here. Wait, what? No, Pip, we can't have a window on our back. Bathroom. You don't want anyone looking in while you're pooping. Look, let me show you. We can make this look cooler on the outside whilst not adding any very weird windows. I can put some quartz slabs like this and build it up to look really futuristic. Oh, yeah. This is going to be the most futuristic porta potty ever. Yep, this is what toilets are going to look like in the year 2050. 2050? We'll be so old when it gets to 2050. Yeah, I'm going to be an old man when 2050 comes around. I'll probably be complaining about my back hurting. We'll probably have to pay taxes. No! But anyways, Pip, it doesn't matter right now. We are not old just yet, but I've added a very cool look to this bathroom. I'm just going to finish it off by adding some more stripes coming down the sides like this. And now it looks really futuristic. Let's go ahead and build the bathroom inside of it now. And you know what, Pip? I think I'll leave this to you since you are the master of building bathrooms. So have fun in here, okay? All right. All right. So in this bathroom... We're going to need to first put down a toilet because you don't want to use the bathroom on the floor, do you? Next to it, humans really need toilet paper for some reason. I'm not sure why, but we're going to put that right here. And in the corner, we're going to have a sink and a mirror so people can wash their hands and see if they got any poop on their face that they can wipe off. But this bathroom kind of looks boring right now with all of this stone on the floor. So how about we cover up the stone with carpet and put a flower pot in the corner and maybe even put some paintings around. That way, this porta potty doesn't look like a dump. It looks like a cute little porta potty. And now I think my porta potty is complete. Let's just test it out real quick. And done. Now the porta potty is complete with a cherry on top. Oh, Louie. Oh, what do you want, Pip? Are you done? Oh, yeah, Louie. And I even left a surprise in there. Uh, Make sure to cover your nose. Uh, a surprise? Uh, Pip, I don't even have a nose, but let's go in and... Ew! <laughs> There's a poop on the toilet! Oh, yeah, Louie, I had to leave a cherry on top. Pip, but you didn't even poop in the toilet. You pooped on the toilet seat. Oh, yeah, I'm not very good at aiming. Oh, my gosh. You know what? I'm going to pick this up and dispose of it. But anyways, Pip, that is our bathroom completed. But wait a second. What time is it? Well, let's check, Louie. My lucky, trusty clock. And wait a second. The sun! It's going down! Uh oh This isn't good! Oh, no, guys. The moon is coming up. You can see it's over there! Oh, that means those sea monsters are going to be here any minute now. You know what, Pip? I think we need armory rooms. So you go over to your base and make one. And I'll make one right here on my balcony. All right, Louie. Mine will be better than yours. Oh, no, it won't. Because I'm getting my armor stands out. And I'm going to put netherite armor on it, which is the strongest armor in Minecraft. I'll make two sets just for you, Pip, in case you get jealous. I'm not going to need your stinking armor, Louie. I've got my own set of golden armor. All right. Well, let's hope that that golden armor doesn't break in an instant. But 
anyways, I'm going to have to put a weapon inside. And what better to use than a nice netherite sword? So let's put a few of those into these chests. I'm going to get a dragon bone bow and some arrows. That will be able to kill those sea monsters instantly. Because these bows are meant for killing dragons. And then finally, I'll give myself some golden apples. Just like that. And you know what? On this other side in this chest, I'm going to give myself something called an ice crystal. These ice crystals are really useful. You can use them to freeze over the water. So let's say I need to get to Pip's base and my bridge is destroyed. I can just freeze the water like this and walk across. This base and my OP weapons should be way better than Pip's. So let's hope that my base survives the sea monster attack. But anyways, guys, since the sun is going down, I think it's time to get Chip inside of my base. I'm sorry, Milo. You're not allowed in mine. You'll have to stay with Pip. And there we go, guys. Chip is now inside of my base. Awesome. But I wonder when Pip will get Milo inside. Once those evil sea creatures arrive, they might drag him under the water. Really? I was just about to take him. Just chill all right, but we don't have long until they arrive. You know what? I'm going to put my armor on. I'm getting scared. Follow me, Milo. We gotta get you to the bedroom to hide from all those evil sea monsters. Come on, Milo. Head downstairs. All right, Louie. Milo's in his bedroom. And let's just look outside and... Oh, holy moly! What's wrong, Pip? It can't be that bad. And whoa! A huge sea creature just jumped out of the water! Louie, I've got my armor on now. Where are these guys at? I want a piece of them! They're in the water, Pip! Look! And one of them just tried to eat me, but it died in my laser trap. And look, all of them are falling into the magma blocks. This is awesome! Let me shoot them. Come on! You're not going to hurt Louie or Milo. Oh, yeah. We cannot let Milo and Chip die. You know what? I'm going to try my TNT trap. Go, go, go! Blow them up, TNT! Boom! Oh, I got a TNT trap as well, Louie. Let's see this blow up! Yeah, kill them, Pip! Kill them! There's so many evil sea creatures down here. It's so scary! Oh, I'm trying to shoot them. They keep jumping out of the water! Yeah, it seems like they can dodge us very well. And these sea serpents have a lot of health. Oh my goodness, how are we going to kill them by ourselves? Well, Pip, maybe I just need to try something. Like putting some ice in the water. Get frozen, ice beasts! Y you know what? I'll go near to the water. And let's freeze them! Freeze! Oh, turn this water into a frozen tundra. Look, Pip, I've got a bunch of these sea creatures out of the water. Just shoot them, okay? I'm trying to, Louie, but they keep jumping up on my base. Oh, they are really, really annoying and dangerous, but I'm killing some of them, Pip. You'll be okay, all right? All right, Louie, I'm aiming my TNT to blow them up. Whoa, Pip, I might need your help. I'm being bitten by one of those serpents. They jumped up onto your base and started attacking me. Oh, just come inside, Louie. It's safe in here. All right, I'm inside. I'm inside. All right, just get up here onto the balcony. All right, what is up here in your balcony, Pip? I hope it's enough to kill these serpents. Oh, yeah, Louie. Look at my TNT dispenser. Wait, that's actually really good. Does it work? Yes, it does. Look, it's blowing up those serpents down there. Awesome. Ooh, these serpents are trying to jump up here, but not for long. Yeah, there's also a bunch of sharks, but they are not going to survive anything. It seems like the serpents are at war with the sharks. I don't think I see any more of them. Oh, that's really good. They must have eaten all of the sharks. Yep, awesome. But now all we have to do is deal with these evil sea serpents. They're a lot stronger than sharks, though, Pip. I hope you're ready. Oh, but we should be fine. Your house kidnapped a lot of the sea serpents, and now they're stuck. Yep, look. They're stuck at the bottom in those magma blocks. But it doesn't seem like they're taking damage. Maybe we should just keep shooting these serpents, and hopefully we will be okay. Maybe we should go to my base, though. I don't think it's safe here. I mean, yeah, Louie, but are we even safe to get over there with all of these sea serpents? I think we are. Let's go and find Milo, and let's tell him we need to go. Come on. All right, Louie. He's down here. 
Oh, and look, there he is. Come on, Milo. We can't stay here very long. I'm sorry, Pip built a terrible base. Oh, it's not terrible. These sea serpents are just super OP. Oh, it doesn't matter. Come on, Milo. Let's go. We need to move. All right, come on, Pip. We need to move Milo over. Get him to follow us. I'm trying to, but I think he's scared of getting bitten by the serpents. Don't worry. He'll be fine. Just keep following me, and he will follow you. Come on. Oh, let's go, Milo. Let's get out of here. Only, it seems like there's a few serpents under your base. Let's just run across quickly before they kill us. Yeah, turn off the laser so we can get inside. All right, come on, Milo. Get in. Don't stand in front of the lasers. I'll switch them back on, and let's go and reunite Milo and Chip. Come on. All right, look. We got Milo and Chip in the same room. Now they're both happy. We just have to kill the rest of these sea serpents, and we will have survived. Oh, yeah. It doesn't look like there's too many left. Yeah. Let's make sure Milo and Chip stay here, and let's go outside and help. Come on, Pip. We gotta get out. Let's turn the lasers off and get out of here. Let's kill these serpents. Oh, for Milo and Chip. Take this, you evil sea serpents. This is for Milo and Chip, like Pip said. Oh, yeah. I don't like you, sea serpent. Die! Whoa! One of them just jumped five miles into the sky. And another one is trying to eat me. But don't worry, Pip. I'm stronger than it. I will shoot it with my bow, and it will die. Hiya! Take this, sea serpent. Whoa, whoa, whoa. These things are really strong. They're actually doing a lot of damage. Oh, yeah. This guy keeps jumping up in the air and won't let us hit him. Hiya! I shot it out of the air, Pip. Oh, are those all of them? I think so. Other than the ones that are stuck in the magma down there. But we can kill those easily. Just follow me. All right. We are in all of these bubbles. All we have to do is just attack these serpents with our swords. Attack, Pip, attack. Yeah, and try not to drown. Don't worry, Pip. We have golden apples. We will be okay. We just have to beat them up with our swords and we will be finished. I've killed about six of these sea serpents serpents so far. Some of them won't even let me get close. Maybe I need to shoot them with my bow. Hiya! And wait, this seems to be working better than my sword. Yeah, the bow is really OP. Yes, we're almost there now. Just one more sea serpent and that should be it. Hiya! All right, and it's dead. All right, Pip, you see any more? No, Louie, I hack up at the surface and oh, I'm trying to look at the whole ocean and I don't see a single serpent or shark. Wait, no way. Then that means we survived. Louie, look, it's daytime. Wait, no way. We totally just survived. But what about Milo and Chip? Are they safe? Uh, Surely they did follow the ocean with the serpents. Let's take a look. Let's go inside, run through the house, and look! They're okay! Yeah, we did it. We saved Milo and Chip, but we did it. But if you guys enjoyed that video and want to see more just like it, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, and click that next video on your screen. Pip out!